Hey Libra, welcome back to the channel guys. So let's go ahead and get started with your weekly reading. Let's see what is going on here with you guys. What's going to be coming towards you for the upcoming week or for the next seven days actually. We're going to see what is this overall energy in regards to love. What messages do you need to hear? What do you need to be prepared for? Guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. It allows me to connect with you energetically and it definitely helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, these readings are timeless, general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does and leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. And there is no gender in tarot. Reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. So let's go ahead and see what is this overall energy here for my Libra universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. Overall energy here with Libra. Oh, okay. So generally my overall energy is one card, but what I am really getting here is that there is an offer that you have been waiting for for quite a bit, okay? This is something that you have literally been waiting for. You've been waiting for possibly the return of someone from your past or the offer of a new business opportunity. Whatever it is that you have been waiting for, it's being presented to you this week or these next within these next seven days, okay? And the reason is because there's finally growth here. Okay, it's like those seeds that you planted months and months ago are finally getting ready to sprout. Okay, um, I do feel like there is a new beginning here. Okay, where there was once once a temporary delay, all of a sudden there's going to be action. Okay, there's going to be a growth, and it's why because the time is here, the time is right. It is time to give this situation a second opportunity. You waited and you waited long enough, and it is being presented to you this week. So definitely within these next seven days, look at what's coming towards you pay attention to your scenarios uh, your your surroundings pay attention to everything that's around you because you're going to start feeling a lot of major changes um and there's definitely some forward movement here some action some growth and it's because now it is time to give a situation the opportunity that it truly deserves it took a while but it's here now so you do have this two of fire energy here. So I do feel like there is about to be some blockages that are being removed between you and someone from your past, I heard. Okay. This is from someone that you have been waiting to hear from, someone who you could have ultimately been blocked by, or you just felt blocked in general. It's like this person all of a sudden comes in here. It's like they're going to come in and you're going to be like, damn, where the hell have you been? Like, I haven't heard from you in a minute. I didn't know if everything was good with you. Like, there was there was just no communication. All of a sudden, like, this person raises the guard and starts coming toward you. Reason is, is because now they're ready to pursue this connection. King of Swords and, I'm sorry, King of Fire energy. So somebody here is going to be hyper-freaking focused on you and this connection. They're going to want to be communicating with you on a daily, all day long. They start seeing this relationship. They have visions of this relationship actually getting into a better energy. It's like somebody walked away from you because at some point they were not ready for this connection but now out of nowhere they come in and they're ready okay they're ready they're very um motivated to pursue this connection you might be looking at this person all cross-eyed wondering what the fuck is your problem where the hell are you coming from but it's this individual where they've come to terms and they've realized that they're they're missing an opportunity here with the right person okay Maybe in the past it was not the right time, but it's always been the right person. So this individual is not willing to miss this opportunity. They're not willing to stay back. So this is what they're going to be doing now. With the dreamer, the fool, they're taking a major leap of faith. Okay, Whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or you don't, somebody's about to pop back up into your life. And it's because now they're ready for a new opportunity. The wheel of fortune here is like now they're ready. Okay, now they have that stability. Now they have that want and that sense of urgency of forward movement. It's like somebody here is definitely ready to follow this dream with you and take on new opportunities and new leaps of faith here. This is also a very unexpected opportunity being presented to you. you you're not you're not looking at it's like you're in a situation where you're not expecting this person to come back towards you but it's time it's good karma it's the justice it's like after everything that has been said and done after this time of separation after all the healing after getting past all those blockages it's like somebody finally comes in here but they come in here with that offer that is completely 100 percent legit and they're going to be extremely extremely per, uh, persistent in here so you got the moon you got the justice and you got the full all three major arcanas okay this is universe making it very very clear to you 
that you need to expect the unexpected in this situation. Someone is definitely coming back to make things right with you, okay? And with the fool here, they're going to want to take major leaps of faith with you. It's going to be one of those things where you're going to ultimately have to make a decision. Do I and will I entertain this connection? Should I or shouldn't I move forward in this situation? These are going to be some questions that you are going to have to ask yourself. But ultimately, at the end of the day, as we should all know, we should follow our intuition. If our intuition is telling us, yes, give that person another opportunity, yes, heal from this connection, then boom, do it, okay? I do feel like for the majority of you guys, this person returning from your past, yes, it could have been a very tumultuous ending. There could have been a lot of things going on at that given time, but the truth of the matter, I feel like you are going to give this relationship an opportunity to heal. You still have a lot of love for this person. You still think about the good times and even the bad times with this person but you know that this relationship definitely has the opportunities or the energy to go long term okay um even though this person <clears throat> was not ready in the past even though this person was not pushing the was not pushing forward was not showing you forward movement i do feel like this individual is coming in here now and they're ready to talk okay they have a lot of things that they're mentally conflicted about, especially when it comes to this connection. But I did hear that the, the main thing that they're conflicted about is something that they told you in the heat of an argument. Okay, so this person could have very well disrespected you or said something that was unnecessary in the argument. But as you all know, we're human. We all do the same stupid shit. I've done it multiple times in my lifetime. I really try to hold myself back now, but sometimes it might slip. There's, there's things that this person said that they are carrying very, very heavy in their mind and in their heart. So one of the main focuses when this individual returns towards you for the second opportunity, it's that you're going to get an apology for whatever he or she said to you that could have very, very well left you in the Eight of Swords energy, but they're completely in that Eight, eight of Swords energy now, okay? This is also an energy that uh, this person wants to leave the past in the past. I just heard let bygones be bygones, so... I don't know who that refers to, but there's this energy of this individual wanting to leave what no longer serves a purpose in this connection in the past. And they're really hoping and praying that you're going to be able to forgive and forget. Five of Cups energy here with the strength. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot of sorrow and a lot of heartache in this connection, but I do got to be very honest with you. When this person presents back, presents herself back into your life within these next seven days, the truth of the matter is that you're going to have the whole control of this connection. You are really going to have, how they say, you're going to have the ball on your court, okay? You're the one that's going to ultimately make a decision here. You went through a lot, but you also healed from a lot. You're in a very powerful energy here that when this individual comes in towards you to want to heal this connection, to want to make things right, to to want to emotionally open up towards you with the moon here to take a leap of faith for you you're the one that's going to ultimately be able to say yes or no okay because you are the only one that can basically decide whether or not you want this person back what are the final messages here what is the outcome for my libra universe what can they expect in this situation the six of fire so libra truth be told with some work, with some dedication in rekindling this connection, I do see that there is victory and success in the very near future. And there's marriage, okay? There is definitely marriage here. So whatever was causing you guys a burden, the six plus the four is a ten. Those things have been eliminated because now universe had made, has made space for victory, for success, for forward movement, and for marriage, okay? So I do feel like someone from your past is being presented back into your life. They are coming back because they know that they've done a lot of wrong by you they've said some things that shouldn't have never been said so they're coming in with an apology they're coming in to be able to move forward from this connection they're coming in as this nine of earth nine of pentacles pre-emperor's energy they're ready willing available single whatever the scenario is they're ready to move forward in this connection and they're hoping that you would be ready to do it as well so definitely guys expect communication from someone from your past they want a second chance here but before they even ask for that second chance expect them to want to clear the air with these eight of swords energy because they do want to get past that conflict apologize to you and then ultimately start taking these leaps of faith towards marriage towards victory and towards success okay all right guys i hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed for the next seven days Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.